Trust you're all enjoying yourself. Yeah. Uh, only a Toronto could spread a banquet table like this. Thank the you. finest in all Naples. No, no, in all Italy. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. And now I have an announcement to make. Oh, Arturo. You all know our Egyptian friend, Arturo, who keeps us supplied with spices and gems. Yes, what is it, George? Bring Ione over here, will you? Right, sir. And of course, Arturo's ward, Ione, needs no introduction. Many of you knew her family. Here she is, the most beautiful girl in all Italy. You shouldn't say such things before all these people, George. They might believe you. <laughs> I want them to. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I promised an announcement. I'm happy to tell you, Ione has accepted my hand in marriage. You are all invited to attend the wedding. Let me be the first to congratulate you, George. Thank you, Arturo. Your health. And happiness to you both. <laughs> well, I'm glad you approve. I'm a very lucky man. Yes, a lucky man, a very lucky man. Oh, by the way, uh, have you seen Lydia? I, uh, well, she went toward the library just after your announcement. That's funny. Without even toasting our happiness. Uh, did you want her for something? Oh, no. Strange, very strange. Oh, well, she'd probably show up later. She isn't at all like that. I can't understand. Shall I uh, tell her that you're looking for her, George? No, don't bother. I'll see her shortly. Well, uh, I'll say good night. Business as usual in the morning, you know. Ione? Yes? Yes, Uncle. Uncle. Must you always call me Uncle and remind me of my age? What else does one call a prospective guardian? <laughs> now, you make me sound so old. Remember now, you never consulted me about your marriage. I knew you'd approve. You do, don't you? Yes, yes, of course. Of course. <laughs> that proves I can think for myself. Much happiness, my dear, to you both. All the happiness in the world. But I must go now. Now, don't stay too late. I can Chris is still here, and he can see you home. Oh, well, does she have to go home with her brother? Won't I do? <laughs> oh, oh, yes, I almost forgot. That. We'll all go home together. Yes, fine, fine. Good night, then. Good night, Good night. Good night. you, Arturo? Hush, Nydia. Not so loud. What do you want? I saw you come this way after the announcement of their marriage. I... I wanted to be alone. What of it? Nothing, nothing, only... And why do you come slinking through the dark? You must like to walk in the darkness. I... You had no light burning, either. And, oh, I'm sorry. Here, I'll light one now. Don't apologize. The blind need no light. When sight has no more meaning, I must trust my other senses. They serve you well, too. What do you mean? Only that you recognized me before I spoke. I read characters by their movements. By what actions I can interpret without... With what senses I have. Those senses can sometimes be too keen, too refined. What are you driving at? You still haven't told me what you want of me. Nydia, I know that you love George. No, you're wrong. You deny it? Yes, of course I deny anything you say. You also deny you were sobbing as I came in? I... I haven't felt well all day. But you didn't notice it until the marriage announcement. No, it's not true, I tell you. Ah, but it is. You love George now, don't you? No, I don't. Come, admit it. Go away, please go away. I'm only a poor blind girl. How can I, dear, love the richest man in Naples? He is of noble birth, and I... But that is not so. What? What are you saying? Now, don't pretend, Lydia. I know. No? No what? In my business, I travel, my dear. And travel is a great way to glean information. Your parents were aristocratic Neapolitans. That I know. I know how your avaricious uncle sold you into slavery when your parents died. Oh, I... You want me to stop? No, go on. I even know in what Egyptian house you were serving, being beaten by a cruel master when George rescued you. And I've watched you. I repeat, you're in love with George. And that's why tonight's announcement upset you, isn't it? I... I you can't deny it, can you? I, stop. Stop. Don't torture me. Do you still deny it? No, I can't deny it. I love him. Yes, I love him. There. But that doesn't give me any right to him. Any right to ignore his betrothal to someone else. Any right to expect him to love me in return. Ah, but you're wrong. Why did he rescue you from the Egyptians? Out of pity, of course. 
I suppose you are not beautiful. I am also blind. I'm sure George would pay no heed to it if it were not for one thing. Yes? The question of your humble birth. Humble birth? My humble birth? He doesn't know about my parents. How could he? Then I... You could tell him. No, not as easy as that. You could not be sure of his love. I have another plan. You did want something of me after all. What is it? Here, hold out your hand. There. It... It's a little glass bottle. Yes. But what... Inside is one ounce of white powder. The Egyptians use it. They call it a love potion. Anyone taking it is made immune to all inhibitions which thwart true love. This will prove George really loves you. But how... What do I do with it? He asked for you only a few minutes ago. Wondered why you hadn't congratulated him. Go to him now. Offer to drink a toast. Pour the wine. The rest is simple. I don't know... Come now. You can't turn back now. Here. This way. Before he comes looking for you. Uh, Oh. Who's that? Hello, Arturo. Oh. (laughs) It's you, Chris. You startled me. Enjoying yourself? Oh, yes, yes. And you, Nydia. Oh, yes, Chris. Thank you. I'm... I'm so happy about George and your sister. Thank you. See you later. Now. Now, Lydia. Now you must see George. And remember everything I told you. I don't know why I listened to you. Except that... Wait. I'll send him in for you. Lydia? Oh, there you are. Oh, it's you, George. Uh Let me congratulate you on your betrothal. Many thanks, Lydia. Oh, but come now. Don't you think a toast is in order? Yes, I poured the wine. Here it is, George. Oh, thank you. Well, may you be very, very happy. And I wish you the same. George, what have I... Oh. What is it? Why do you shrink away from me? I... Nothing. You didn't drink the toast. I... Just a sip. A, a little sip. Oh. George. Who... Oh. Who are you? George. You... What did you give me? Oh, George. Hmm? (laughs) Yes, George. Where's George? I must find George. George, come back. This way, please. No, George, not outside. George, come back. Please. I must find George. Come back in, George. Come back. Oh, Lord. Have you seen George? No. Answer him, Nydia. Have you seen George? <laughs> Where's Arturo? He left his home in Pompeii. But where is George? <laughs> it's Arturo. Arturo. Is something wrong? It's George, Charles. He's missing. Chris, wait. Where are you going? Find Arturo. He knows what happened to George. I'll go with you. No, Charles. The friend of the family needn't get mixed up in this. Go along with him, Charles. Please. He might do something vile. All right. Come on, then, if you insist. But hurry. Hurry. Walk a bit, Chris. No, we must hurry. Come on, I don't want to lose him. You go along, then. I'll catch up. Arturo! Arturo! Huh? Just a minute, Arturo. Oh, <laughs> you, Chris. Yes, it's me, all right. Yes. Now, what have you done with George? With George? Yes. I should have known your meeting with Nydia boded no good. What do you mean? Oh, don't play innocent with me. I know how you hate George. I also know you love Ione. You'd do anything to keep them apart, even if you had to use Nydia as a tool. Now, what have you done with George? <laughs> don't be stupid. I'm not so stupid as to be ignorant of what you've been up to. Uh-huh. I know you've been trying to get full legal control over Ione and through her the family fortune. But you'll never do it. As long as I'm her senior, the courts will insist on my approval for any permanent guardianship. And I'll never give it. Never. You? You dare stand in my way? Yes. What's more, I'll have you jailed for conspiring against my sister and her fiancé. You? You, young... You dare... I... 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 Arturo. No. A knife. You... You dare stand in my way. Arturo, no. No, don't. Drop that knife. Run, why don't you? You can't run away. I'm the best knife thrower in all Italy. There. 
That will close your mouth forever. Who? Who's that? Who's that? from the bushes there. Here, take the knife. Yes, I... <laughs> I killed George. Yes, I killed him. <laughs> See the blood still on the knife. See? Hand on your hands. Mm-hmm. You must tell the police. <laughs> tell them. Yes, I must tell the police. Mustn't I? I must tell. Yes, you must. Police! Have you changed your mind? No. And I shan't. Oh, come now. It's pleasant here, an estate in Pompeii, the finest, all the comforts you could ask for. You could be very happy here with me. Never. Oh, silly girl. Still imagine yourself in love with George. Yes. And it's too late for that. He'd be sentenced this morning. And you won't interfere. Why should I? I might have known my coming here would be fruitless. What did you expect me to do? Testify in his favor? But you know he never killed Grizzle. Oh, could I ever have trusted oh, you? Oh, come now. I'll make you an appropriate guardian and husband. If you'll just say the word. Husband or guardian, I want none of you. On the latter, I'm afraid you'll have little to say. You see, I am your legal guardian now. Look. I have the court over here. Oh. Chris always told me not to trust you. And all along, while you pretended to give your advice as a family friend, you were... Doing this sort of thing. Wait, where are you going? Back to Naples. You're impossible. Impossible. I wouldn't go if I were you. Well, you're not me. Get out of my way. All right, but I wouldn't try to get past him. Who's that in the doorway? Nemo, one of my servants. An awfully strong fellow. He might not be as gentle as I if you try to leave. Tell him to get out of my way. I wouldn't cross him if I were you. I'm leaving and nobody... Ouch! Get your hands off me. Let me go. Put me down. Put me down, you beast! Let me down! Let me down! Put it in here, Nemo. You You beast! Get your hands off me! Wait, wait, wait. Where do you think you're going? Let me get out of here. Oh, no, you don't. Nemo, stay outside the door. (laughs) Now, Ayana, you'll have plenty of company here. Won't she, Nidia? Nidia here? What are you doing here? Ioni, it's you. Tell me, Nidia, what are you doing here? I'm caught in the meshes of my own doing. Come now, ladies, you can talk while I'm gone. Nidia will probably have a lot to tell you, Ioni. <laughs> but it will be too late for you to do anything about it. Too late for anyone to do anything about it. Perhaps not so late as you think. Well, I must leave now. I must go to the court to testify against George. Yes, I must tell them everything. That was a clever piece of work, aren't you, know? <laughs> Why, child. Oh, you were in the courtroom, eh? Yes, I heard it all. Very clever of you. Uh, cl- uh, what do you mean? Just what I said. You don't think for a minute I believe George killed Chris. I, I don't know. Why Why should you believe otherwise? The court has convicted him, you know, sentenced him to be thrown to the lions tomorrow in Pompeii Amphitheater. Yes, but on perjured evidence. Oh? Of what sort? Your testimony, of course. Mine? Oh, yes. I know. Because I was with Chris when he went to find you that uh, fatal evening. You? Yes. And I remember distinctly, quite distinctly, that no one, particularly not George, was in sight when you two quarreled in the fight. I, uh, well, now, uh, if you have reason to suspect me, why didn't you testify at court? Oh, well, it's much more, shall we say, profitable for me this way. Oh, I see. 
blackmail. <laughs> well, Charles, I must admire your technique. <laughs> why, uh, why don't you come over to my place in Pompeii? We can talk more freely there. All right, fine. Come along, then. Yes, we can settle this whole thing once and for all, right away. Yes. You must finish counting out your money. <laughs> you know, you're just like me, Charles. Never take payment in anything but gold, I always say. Now, there. And to think it was you that I heard running away that night in the park, Charles. Here, now, let's drink to see the bargain. Very well. Here you are. Glass for you. Ah. Uh. I'll take the other one, thank you. Oh. <laughs> All right, here you are. Oh, thanks. Don't trust me, eh? Well, Charles, you're becoming a man of the world. Never trust anyone completely, I always say. Come, drink up your health. And to yours. Come to think of it, you're getting off cheaply. I... I... Oh. What's, uh, what's wrong, Charles? I had a... I feel like pounding my... My head, it's spinning. I can't see my head. It's spinning. I will. <laughs> Silly boy tampering with me that way. <laughs> Nemo? Nemo, come here. You called me, Master? Yes, take him down to the cellar and lock him in the dungeon. Yes, Master. <laughs> Silly boy trying to swindle me, Arturo. Me? <laughs> now I have nothing to fear. It was horrible to make you do it. Someone's coming. Yes, I heard that long ago. Your supper, lady. Where is Arturo? I must get out of here. Master went to see George die. The crowd was very mad, he said. Oh. Want the prisoner to go to the lions today. No. No, they can't. They mustn't. Let me out of here. Let me out, I say. Go Let back, Gindy. Let me out. Go no. back there. Get your filthy hands off me. Oh, oh. Nemo, sit down and eat. What? Master would not like No matter. It. He's not here now. Do you want it to be said that you refuse to eat with a daughter of magic? Oh, no. No, never. That would displease the gods. You are one of the magic ones, then, as I guess. Can you really work the magic? I'll show you. Have you a rope? Rope? Oh, oh yes, yes. Master makes me carry it always. Here. Tie me up with it. But do as I say. Tie me to this chair. Yes, magic one. Tighter. That's good. You think I can't get free? You must have magic to get free now. All right. There. There's your rope. It, it is so. You have the magic powers. You want to know how it's done? Yes. Yes. Then I'll show you. Sit down in the chair. Yes. There. Now I tie the rope to the chair. Now I bind your wrists. Is it tight enough? Oh, oh yes. Then your arms to the back of the chair. Where did you take the man who came without your rope? You know that. I know that you carried someone out of the next room. Where did you take him? Come now, I heard it all. To the dungeon in the cellar. Oh. Can you move your arms now? No. Now show me how to get free. His keys. Take them. Yes. Come on. To the dungeon in the cellar. Here. Here. Come back. Come back. You can. We can find out who's down there. We must. Here. Here. Who's in there? Look here. Look here. Take up the Get me out of here. Charles! What were you doing? I saw Toro kill Chris. But I was afraid to tell the police. Oh. He has a great deal of influence, a great deal. Then I confronted him after the trial and asked for money. He lured me here, drugged me. And that's all I remember, except that my head aches like fury. You promise us you'll tell the authorities. Yes, yes, I promise anything. Just get me out of here. All right. I only hope in the cell door. Yes. Oh, please, hurry. They're going to execute George's sentence today. To the amphitheater. To the box of the judge. Hurry. Yes, hurry. What a day, Your Honor. What a day. The lions are mad with hunger. Yes, yes. It will be a sight to see, Arturo. Oh, yes. All criminals should be thrown to the lions to compensate our people with this pleasure for the crimes against them. Gatekeeper, open the gates. Let the hunger be soft. No! No, wait! Gatekeeper, wait! Don't throw the lion down! No. Your Honor, 
now, Your Honor. Have these people thrown out. They're disrupting the show. What, what do you want there? What's, what's the meaning of this? George is innocent, Your Honor. Why? He's what? not a murderer. No. There's your murderer, Arturo. It's a ruse, Your Honor. Oh. I'll throw this man out. Look, wait, wait, Arturo. Young man, what do you mean coming here like this? Because he killed Chris, Your Honor, not George. He's well, lying. This isn't true. But it is, Your Honor. I have witnesses to testify it's true. It is true, Your Honor. It is. And I swear, too, that Arturo is the murderer. Throw him to the lion. You hear me, citizen? Arturo is the real murderer. It should be he that is thrown to the lion. Oh, no. It isn't true. I swear. Arturo, look out. Ah! He's right the gate. He's fallen in the lion's den. George. George, are you all right? My only, my sweet. Yes, I'm all right now. It's all so terrible. Listen, what is that? It's thunder from underneath the earth. It was the mountain. Vesuvi, oh. it's erupting, I feel it. Look, look, black smoke coming from the crater. It is Vesuvi. We must get out of here. Come. Uh. Yes, we will. We'll all be trapped today. The smoke is getting blacker. Something burns. Ashes in the lava. Hurry. All Pompeii will be buried in a little while. George, Ione, where are you? I can't see. Here, Charles, take hold of me. You too, George. Hold Ione between you. What about you? You forget I'm used to the dark. Hurry now. We must make the harbor. It's our only hope. Be careful. Don't let go of me. Otherwise, you'll get lost buried under the molten lava. Here we are. Hurry. Into that boat, please. You're not safe till you clear the house. Come, Ione. Get in. Yes, Charles has gone mad. Here, you quit shoving. Get in, Charles. No, 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 wait. Lydia, you... Lydia, where is she? She was there a minute ago. Hurry, George. Lydia? Lydia! She's gone. What could have happened to her? The crowd. She's probably lost in the crowd. She'll be all right. But she's alone out there. She can take care of herself. Besides, we've got only to look out for. Yeah, I, I suppose you're right. Come on, take hold here. Let's shove off. The lava's gaining ground. Come on, let's get out of here. All right. Now, heave. Oh, the narrow escape. George, darling, give me your hand. Yes, I only. Come together again. For good. Everything's going to be all right again. Yes, Ione. Yes. <laughs> Something's troubling you, dear. What? What is it? it? It's Lydia. She didn't get lost. She couldn't. Not after bringing us safely through. She went back to help others. Yes, to help others through the darkness. Probably. No doubt that puts her soul at rest. It may be her way of atonement. Atonement? Lydia? Yes, because she... Oh, for all the little missteps of her life. Oh, perhaps. Yes, I. I only hope she's all right. Yes, I hope she's all right. From the time war faces of the past, we have brought you the story The Fatal Love Potion. 